of the tankers is the issue of the, of the pipelines and whether those tankers will go under that uh, 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 second narrow ocean past Lion State and Stanley Park in increasing numbers over time. And I did put forward a motion early on in, um, in uh, my, my term in council in February um, that was kind of testing the waters and it was more to do around public consultation ensuring that if Kinder Morgan didn't put uh, public consultation, robust public consultation. By the way, I'm getting to loathe that word. Um, and the, the reason is I just went to Kinder Morgan's little, little uh, you know, PR show last night where it was a lot of storyboards and, you know, really, there wasn't any real, I mean, what do you think? And if you answered on, well, you don't want this project, <laughs> any consideration from your point of view. So there wasn't any two-way discussion, and I hate those rooms where people don't get to hear each other's questions and don't get to simultaneously hear the answers that are put forward. Anyway, there already is consultation, um, but my motion was to get some consultation, and then we moved forward quite quickly, and I saw that the park board was going to put forward a uh, motion against the Kinder Morgan project. So I actually met with the mayor and said, um, what do you think about this same motion coming forward to the council table? And his first response to me was, well, you know, actually, I think it's okay at Park Board. I mean, they've got the problems with Stanley Park and the beaches and that kind of thing. And I said, Gregor, I really feel like this needs to be at the council table. And I'm willing to put that motion forward, but I'd be much happier to, um, to support the motion from you on this, because I think it's better for the issue. <laughs> he put a motion in. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, I, you know, again, I think it's, it's that's also, a, I guess, for me, a gratifying piece of being elected. It's, it's realizing that there is you know, an ability to work uh, with others and uh, to push the agenda and to get some things through and to stand up for people. Because really, you deserve Every counselor should do this. You deserve a council that stands up for you first. To have a developers of any other interests, it's the citizens' interests that count the most. And uh, and so I, I um, will say right now, I intend to pursue um, the, this job further uh, and run again if you would uh, end up nominating me in the future. Um, and. In the next election, more Greens and on council, more Greens in the park board, in the school board. Is Stuart McKinnon here? Did Stuart? Stuart is here. I'll stand up, Stuart. Stuart McKinnon. last term, and I did have a conversation with him. If, if there is indeed a, a by-election, which we may have at the park board, I think that we may have a really candidate in Stewart, and I believe we can get Stewart elected. Yes. And Lily Boutin, too, who ran for park board, I mean for school board, where's Louise? She's probably busy in the kitchen. I think she's, oh, there she is. She's in the kitchen. about getting active in this campaign, uh, and the next time we're going to getting active in a by-election, um, uh, should a by-election uh, uh, come our way for the park board, uh, and make sure that, um, that tonight you take advantage of the opportunity to help us get some really basic things. Like when you've been on the, on the silent auction items or on the live auction, which is about to come, what you're going to help us do is get banners. We don't even have green party banners right now. We, you know, last time I won that campaign on fourteen thousand dollars compared to four point or three point four million that was spent by the NPA and three point two million uh, by mission. Fourteen thousand. Well, I would like a little bit more this time too, <laughs> and some banners would be nice. Uh, so, you know, you could really tonight 
um, with your generosity through the, through the auctions, really, really make a difference in positioning us for a very much stronger, um, you know, Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all, and I think we're going to have questions and answers later on. Okay, we're going to have a second hand again. Okay, all right. Okay, well, that's a perfect lead-in for me. Thank you, Adrian, because I am the auctioneer. So, as we all know, these uh, great 